Well, here we go again. Thought bubble for JT, round four of the NRL season. Hello, Jonathan. Brace. Nice shirt. Thanks, mate. You too. Thanks, mate. <laughs> uh, we're at Suncorp uh, for Broncos Cowboys. Always a great match. Enough about that, though. This week, the big story was Kevin Walters re-signing as coach with, for Brisbane. He was handed a hand grenade a few years back. He's done an amazing <laughs> job, hasn't he? He certainly has. Uh, to turn the club around from where they were at. Uh, they won their first wooden spoon in the club's history. Uh, before he took over, I think. So 2021 was his first year as the head coach. And a couple of years later, he's uh, taken them to a grand final. So uh, I think they got the recruitment right with uh, um, Adam Reynolds coming in. Yep. And uh, that certainly helped steer the ship around with all those young guns they got. And clearly the players support him because we've just we've seen the likes of, even though Reese at the time that we're talking has said, don't believe the, the, <laughs> the talk that he's re-signed. It's expected he will be re-signing. Uh, and the likes of Ezra Mam, and it's it's all long-term stuff. Yeah, it is. It's uh, exciting times for the Broncos uh, moving forward, and it goes to show what the players think of Kevy as a as a person, but uh, also as a coach as well. So, you know, he's taken some of those boys to um, yeah the the biggest starts of their careers, and yeah. uh, if they're signing long-term, it's a, a great sign for the, the the Broncos. What sort of coach is he? What's his? I mean, is he? Is he a Trent Robbo? Is he a Craig Bellamy? Is he is he a motivator? I can you know I love watching him and the yeah, sheds he's, getting up on his feet. And yeah, well he's uh, a bit of both. He's obviously got a really good uh, football brain. Mm. Uh, you know, I think he won six premierships, so yeah. he always drops that a few times yeah, uh, when we're around him. But um, yeah, and then he's obviously got the care factor and that emotional uh, attachment to the club, and um, you know that really comes through uh, when he's delivering his speeches uh, to the boys. So mm. I was coached by him and at Origin level and um, yeah really wanted to play for Kevy because what he uh, believed in the jersey and what he believed in you as well. Uh, Easter long weekend of footy uh, wrapped up on nine this Sunday across the Dutch the Warriors up and the, wires, the Knights. Uh, this is going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> up the wires. He's on the bandwagon. Uh, what, do you, what do you make of this clash? Yeah it's a big game for both teams. Yep. Uh, they got their first win last week um, so I think uh, the, the Newcastle Knights, I think they missed 40 tackles last week. So oh, if that's the case over there in Auckland, I think uh, the Warriors will have a field day. So I've tipped the Warriors to get the job done. And I think uh, Tuovasa Sheck's playing his 200th uh, NRL game. Mm. So, uh, yeah, no doubt the boys will be wanting to put their best foot forward for him to get the result. RTSV, Kalen Ponga, how good. I oh, know. So just sit back and watch this space <laughs> because I tell you what, uh, the footwork from those two boys and... Mm. You know, they can stamp their authority on the game in a matter of seconds in the blink of an eye. Uh, RTS, having him back in the game, it's only a good thing for rugby league. A hundred percent. It is. Um, yeah, I remember when he broke my ankles uh, with one of his uh, side steps and uh, really? made me look extremely s- silly. He come off the left and I just went, Aye. Ah. So, um, but yeah, 200 games. Uh, it's good to have him back in rugby league. That's where he belongs. I know he's had that little stint with the... Rugby, but um, yeah, it's great to see him back in the Warriors jersey. He seems like the kind of guy would have apologised after breaking your ankle, didn't he? <laughs> yeah. Well, he was 50 metres down the no, other <laughs> end, so yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, but um, yeah, absolute legend. Um, a great bloke. Um, give you a shirt off his back, and mm. if there's anyone out there that says a bad word about him, they probably need to have a good hard look at himself because, uh, yeah, he's a top person. Well said, Jonathan. Uh, we're done. Thought bubble for this week. Boom. Thanks, mate. Thanks, mate. It's a really good shirt. <laughs> okay, me too. Yep. Bye. <laughs> this year, NRL on 9 is your one stop shop for all footy. That's right, Freddie. Not about the highlights, action. Seven days a week. Billy and Gus podcast, get that on your drive on the way home. Immortal behaviour. Grab a seat on the couch for that. And of course, my favourite, Freddie and the Ain. The best footy brains, the biggest games. Don't trust the algorithm, subscribe to NRL on 9 and get all your entertainment there.